Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, RJ Coding Tips. In this video we are going to make an exciting web page using HTML, CSS and JS. Let's get started. So basically, we are going to make an editable web page that accept changes using simple CSS properties. First of all, we have the HTML file and it is connected to both CSS and JS files. The JavaScript part is more interesting, so please watch the video till the end. Now, we define a div called container, and inside that div we also add another div with class name container row. Again, in the lower part also. After that we add another div with class name conro1. Inside this div, we add a div without any class name to add another div called row div0. Replicate it and change it to row div1. Now open the CSS file, as we can see that our web page is gonna be based on styling, we shall focus more on it. Here is the default CSS, now let's add style to the body tag with background as black. After that preview it so that we can see the changes made on it. This is how it looks like. Then we add display block, with color white and font size as 20px. Now, to the container class, we add display flex, and flex direction is column, and justify content is space between, align item center, margin top 5%, and width 100% so that we can get the division with full display. Copy this class name, paste it, and give the properties as. Border 2px solid white, width 90% so as to give some space, min height, with 100 viewport height to get some height for our container. We shall add margin as 20px for all sides, padding as 5px, and border radius with 10px. Now, to class name container row and con row 1, we add display flex, with flex direction as row, and justify content space evenly so that the space is evenly spread between the containers. Then, we change the flex direction for con row 1 as column so that it will be responsive for later on. Make it important so that we won't get any issue. After that, to the class names, row div0 and row div1 we give both the width and height as 200px, with margin 10px, and padding 5px. Then align the item as centered so that it seems more attractive. Now let's change the background of each division with white and green color. You can also change it with images too. After all this, let's begin the fun part. You might have known this before that the style tag can also be used as an element and can be displayed on the web page. So in order to do that, add this style tag in the container row division. We add background red so that we can see our web page is changing. Now make the style tag content editable and we will be able to make any changes in this style tag. Then in the CSS part, add display block to the style element in order to view the contents on the web page. Let's adjust the alignment with white space as pre-wrap, and make it visible with a background Raba 20, 167, 177, 0 0.164. We can change the width as we want. Go the HTML file to add font size, but don't give the size of it, because we will be changing it on the web page itself. To make it more interesting, we are adding the transition as all 2 Zs. By doing so we can see that there is a transition when we make any changes on the web page. Here, the font size increases and decreases according to the value we give with a smooth transition. Here also, make them content editable. Now, to the class row div0 we add a background, with no value, we can add the value later. Instead of the blue background, we can add online images to it by adding background image with the URL of that particular image. After this, I am adding some properties. You can tap the like and the subscribe button while I am adding the properties. Guys, it's time to make it responsive. To the media screen and min width of 1024px, we add the property of flex direction to the class container. And to the media and max width 720px, white space preline, we adjust the width and the height of the smaller divisions. Now it's fully responsive. And coming to the JavaScript part we are going to change the title of our web page when our focus or our window is changed. To do that we just need only 7 lines of code. 
let dot title equals document dot title window dot add event listener blur document dot title equals please don't go come back and i am adding some emojis you can also add your own emojis here is the part where the title would change i will show it to you guys and again when we come back the title must change to the default title to do that we add window add event listener focus document dot title equals doc title it's working perfectly guys and i have completed the website you can also visit the website and have fun with it links in the description hope you like the video and please don't forget to subscribe for more useful content like this thank you so much for watching see you guys on next thursday